So now let's take a look at another one using using um, the AC method. So in this one, I'm going to multiply 7 times negative 10. So I know right away AC is going to equal 7 times negative 10, which is negative 70. And I need to add up to get 33. So right away I know if I have negative 70, it's opposite signs. What number is multiplied to give me that? Right away I know um, 35 times negative 2 will give me negative 70. 35 plus negative 2 will give me 33. So I know right away that these are the factors I'm going to use. What I'm going to do is make this a 35x and a negative 2x. And I'm going to use that to split that middle term. So I'm going to rewrite this quadratic as... 7x squared, and I'm going to go plus 35x minus 2x minus 10. Then from here, I'm going to group the first two terms and the second two terms. So now, right away I look here, and I'm going to pull out the GCF here. Greatest common factor between 7 and 35 is 7. x squared and x is x. Now, when I divide each of these by 7x, 7 divided by 7 is 1. x squared divided by x is x. 35x divided by 7 is plus 5. Now, at the next one, since that's negative, I'm going to pull out a negative. And then the common factor between 2 and 10 is 2. Both of them can be divided by 2. And now, 10 doesn't have an x, so I'm going to leave it as is. So, divide both of these by negative 2. It's going to give you a positive x, because a negative divided by negative. Negative 5 divided by negative 2 is plus 5. What you should notice is these should be the same if you did it right. So now, basically what we're doing here is we are factoring out the binomial factor of x plus 5. Cross those out, and then what do I have left over here? 7x minus 2. And that is how that will factor. Now, how could I check my answer? Well, x times x is 7x squared. x times negative 2 is minus 2x plus 35x minus 10. And you'll know you get the same thing as what you started with. Okay, so let's take a look at these, right? Now, when I look at the first one, right, if I use guess and check, you have to know that these are not, the, the A values are not prime. So you're better off using AC method to make it easier. So right away, I know AC is going to be, 12 because 4 times 3 is 12 then I have to add up to negative 8 if I look at this I'm going to use since it's positive and that's negative they're both going to be negative so negative 6 times negative 2 that'll give me positive 12 negative 6 plus negative 2 will give me negative 8 so I'm going to rewrite this and I'm going to split that middle term I'm going to break this up into negative 6x minus 2x. And then I'm going to bring plus 3 down. Now, when I go ahead and split that middle term, I'm going to group GCF here. Largest number that goes into 4 and 6 is 2. I have x squared and x, so I can pull out x when I divide these by 2x. 4 divided by 2 is 2. x squared divided by x is x. Negative 6x divided by 2x is, oh, is negative 3. Negative 3. Because the x is canceled. Next one. That's negative, so I'm going to pull out a negative. I can't pull any numbers out of here, so I'm just going to divide this by negative 1. And I'm going to get negative divided by negative is a positive. And 3 divided by negative 1 is negative. So now, right away, 
I have 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3, so I pull that out. And I bring the 2x down and the minus 1 down. And there is how it factors. Check it real quick. 2x times x is 2x squared. 4x squared, sorry. Then negative 2x minus 6x will give me negative 8x. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. And it checks out. So the next one. 4 times 6 is 24. So I'm going to multiply to get 24 and add to get negative 11. Okay, so right away I think negative 8 times negative 3 would give me 24. Negative 8 plus negative 3 would give me negative 11. So we're good. So what I'm going to do is make use negative 8x minus 3x, right, to rewrite negative 11x. So 4x squared minus 8x minus 3x plus 6. Now, this is where I go ahead and I find the greatest common factor. So I group 4x and 8x, 4x squared and 8x. I'm going to have 4 as the largest number. Then they both have an x, so I'm going to go 4x. When I divide, I'm going to get x minus 2. Here, since again that's negative, I'm going to pull out a negative. But I know I can pull out a 3 out of 3 and 6. So negative 3, negative 3x three divided by negative 3 is x. 6 divided by negative 3 is minus 2. So now x minus 2 gets pulled out. Cross them out. What do I have left over here? 4x minus 3. And we are done. So what you have to notice about here, though, is here we use 2x and 2x to get 4x squared. Here we use x and 4x to get 4x squared. So if you are trying the using the guess and check method, it does get a little more complicated. All right. A couple more examples here. You don't have to watch all of these if you understand it, but if you don't understand it, good to watch. So next one. 6 times 10 will give me AC, which is 60. Right? And I know I have to add to get negative 19. Right away, that's negative 15 and negative 4. Right? So, I'm going to bring down the 6x squared. I'm going to split this and make it minus 15x, minus 4x, and bring down the plus 10. Again, group the first two and the last two. And now, I can go ahead and factor out GCF. GCF in the first one, 6 and 15 both have a 3 in common. x squared and x, I have an x. 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x minus 5. Here again, since that's negative, I'm going to factor out a negative. 4 and 10 have a 2 in common. When I divide each of these by negative 2, I get a negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2x. And then minus 5. Are these in common? Yep. So I'm going to pull out the 2x minus 5. And then once I get rid of those, I have 3x left over and a minus 2 left over. Okay. Next one. AC has a value of 9 times 40 is 360. And I know these have to add up to negative 39 okay so when i look at this right this may be a little complicated so right away if i look at this even if i made the mistake of saying um negative say 10 and negative 36 that doesn't add up to negative 39, right? What I know does is negative 24 and negative 15. So that there will also add up to negative 39. So again, I'm going to bring down the 9x squared, then minus 24x 
minus 15x, right? That's how I get that middle term, and then plus 40. I'm going to group here, group here. 9 and 24 have a 3 in common. x squared and x have an x. When I divide, I get 3x minus 8. Over here, I have a 5 in common, but because that first term is negative, it's going to be negative 5. So that would give me times 3x minus 8. I have the 3x minus 8s in common, so I'll pull those out. What do I have left? I have a 3x minus 5 in common. Now, some may struggle with this, and you might have to go trial and error or guess and check, right? So if those numbers get big, guess and check may be easier. All right, next one. The first thing here we're going to start with is a GCF. So anytime we factor, we always have to look for a GCF. In this case, all of these can be divided by 2. So I'm going to pull out a 2, and I'm going to have 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 here. But now I have to see if 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 can be factored. Well, if I use AC method, AC is equal to 4 adds up to negative 4. So right away I know that's negative 2 and negative 2. So 4x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 1. Group, and that's going to give me pull out the 2x. That's going to give me 4x squared divided by 2x is 2x. 2x divided by 2x is minus 1. I'm going to factor out a negative 1 here, right? Because you have to pull out the negative. Divide each of these by negative 1. I get 2x minus 1. So now, over here, I had my GCF of 2. Then right away, I have to remember to factor this. This is going to be 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. So with this, you have to remember to bring that GCF down. Okay, and then the last one. Right away, these all have 3 in common. So I'm going to factor out that 3. Divide everything by 3. So you're going to get 2x squared minus 1x minus 21. Now I have to take this out and factor it. 2x squared minus 1x minus 21. That's going to give you AC is negative 42. Add up to the middle term of negative 1. If I'm not mistaken, that's going to be negative 7 and 6. Split that middle term. 2x squared. And it's going to be minus 7x plus 6x minus 21. Now I'm going to go ahead and group the middle term. Or group the first two and last two. So here, 2 and 7 don't have a common factor, but I know I can factor out an x. That's going to give me 2x minus 7. Here, that's positive, so I'm going to pull out a, four, um, a positive. And then these both can be divided by 3. So I'm going to pull out the 3. And that's going to give me 2x minus 7. These match up. So I pull out the 2x minus 7. And then I have x plus 3 left over. So now in my final answer, I have to bring over my GCF and then these factors. And that's how that would factor completely. Go ahead, try the uh, student practice, and let us know if you have any questions.